Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys eight amazing iPhone tricks on iOS 26 that I believe every iPhone user must know. These are very helpful and very useful of course that will make your life easier using basically your device on daily basis and get a lot of stuff done way faster and of course in a more convenient way using these tricks now before we get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit that subscribe button it will really help the channel a lot now we're starting things off with the maps app so as you probably know on the stock maps app of ios you can send your location to someone that's nothing new but with the new ios 26 you will be able to do that now much much faster and here's how it works all you have to do from the home screen without even having to open the maps app you just simply 3d touch here and you will get now a sec a basically a button right there so send my location you tap right here and then of course you can just simply share your location via airdrop or anything else that you want next up we're talking about the phone app as you probably know with ios 26 apple has done a lot of improvements they have added a lot of new features to the phone app and here's one of them that i really really like and i think everyone must know because it's very very useful so you're on the phone app you search for a contact or you have a contact on the list you go ahead and open that contact and then right here you will see call history you can go here and it will show you the call history for that specific contact so as you know on the phone app you will have your call history but there is every contact included every number that you have dialed or every call that you have received with this feature you can just go ahead and specifically view the call history for a certain contact another app that has gotten a ton of new features is of course the iMessage app we got the backgrounds and of course polls and a very useful feature that has to do with message bubbles so whenever you get a message or you have sent a message if you want to copy the text previously you had to just copy the whole thing tap copy right here and that's how it's done but now with the new ios 26 you will also have a select button you simply select where it says right there and then you can just go ahead and just select any text you want within that bubble and from here then you will be able to actually copy that text without having to copy the whole thing so this is actually another super useful feature next up we're talking about airpods well airpods with ios 26 can be used on a lot of different ways and one of them is to use them as a microphone or actually use them as a camera remote so when you have your airpods connected you will see right here you will have a section where it says camera remote you go here and this is where you actually configure this you will have it off by default you can choose press once or press and hold so this is basically how you invoke the camera so if i just select right there once i can just go ahead and from here take a picture or start recording a video with my camera and as you can see it will basically show right there like three seconds so it's just a timer that it will show before starting to take a video or take a picture so right here tap once and it starts taking a video of course you can go ahead and stop it as well using the same action which is really awesome now from the control center where it says camera right there if you go here you will see the microphone and the camera have been used but we can change that so let's just open the camera once more here if we go to change this then you will be able to actually use the audio input section right here where it says same system you can now switch to your airpod so if you want to use your airpod as the microphone for your video you can now actually do that so if you have your iphone somewhere standing you have it still on a tripod or something like that and you want to move around but still have the microphone with you you can use now your airpod as the microphone 
Now we talked about the custom backgrounds for messages on iOS 26. Well, you can do actually a lot here instead of just setting a picture as the background for your iMessage. So let's just go to the contact right here. This is a section where you actually customize the background for your iMessage. And when you go to the section right here where you will see the backgrounds, you will have a few different options. You can choose none. If you want to remove it, you can choose one of your pictures. You can choose color, actually add one from playground. So it will create one for you. And then you will have water, sky and all right there. Now, what's really cool is that when you go to color, you can actually not just use this, but also customize it with any color you want. So you see these buttons right here at the bottom. As you can see, I can tap there and I can just pick any color I want. So the color picker is there. You can just go ahead and pick the color and this will be the custom wallpaper here. Now you can of course swipe here to just add different filters if you want to, but that's the one that you create. And, and as you can see right here on any of these, you can still change one of the colors and it looks pretty awesome. So customize the background based on colors that you actually like moving back to the phone settings again the phone settings the phone app has a ton of amazing features with ios 26. you probably have heard about call screening it is actually really cool but what you can do here is choose an option called ask reason for calling now these calls basically from unsaved numbers numbers that you don't have on your contacts list will be asked for more information before your iPhone rings calling and data rates may apply it says right here of course because the call will go in but it won't come to you without the phone basically first asking the other person what's the reason for calling so before all that process begins and ends you won't even see the call which is really really awesome and of course super useful so when you go right here to screen unknown callers you can choose the option right here for basically asking the reason for calling and here's another really cool one, a feature that we have been asking for for years now. And finally, Apple decided to add it. I don't know why the simplest features will take like years to actually come to iOS. This is very simple yet very useful a lot of people want this but basically on the clock app when you create a new alarm you can now choose the snooze duration now the default is nine minutes this is how it has been before when you couldn't actually turn it off or change it now you will have actually you could turn it off but you couldn't change the minutes now you will have the option to choose from one minute up to 15 minutes and that of course will change the snooze time for your alarm and this will be of course specific for each alarm so it doesn't change the snooze time for all of the alarms that you have it will specifically do that for the alarm where you actually edit the time and last but not least, we're talking about music. So right here we have the music app, the default iOS music app. And as you can see here, of course, we have a slider that allows us to quickly turn up or down the volume of the music that we're listening to. But if we go ahead and move to the lock screen, you can see that's not the case. So while your device is locked and you have your player right here, even though the player, the player might be on full screen or not, you will actually not see the volume slider. You will have to use the buttons to turn up or down the volume of your device. Well, here's how you do it. You go ahead and go to your settings, then go under accessibility. And when you go to audio and visuals, scrolling down here, you will see something called always show volume controls. You enable this right here. And what it does is that it will add a volume slider to the lock screen of your device. So that's actually pretty useful. You can see now we have a slider to turn up or down the volume of the music, which is super cool. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are eight different tricks that you must know on your iOS 26 device. These are, of course, very helpful, very useful, and will make your life easier using your iPhone on daily basis. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.